Hi everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new, hi again. So this is my channel. I love to do all kinds of DIYs on a budget, Dollar Tree DIYs, thrift flips, farmhouse rustic decor, wreaths, and seasonal decor as well. So if you like what you see here, you know what to do. Hit that red subscribe button. Also leave me a comment. I love to hear what you guys think. And give me a thumbs up. That helps my channel. Today is all about what would you make, and it is hosted by Connie from Connie's Creative Creations, OK at DIY Home, and our co-host is Teresa B. More about that in a minute, DIY number one. So it's all about making things with wood. So I have this wood piece round that I got from the Target Dollar Spot for three bucks. Some picks from the Dollar Tree, I'm using my antique wax, and I'm also gonna use a uh, wood um, cling from the um, cling on from the Dollar Tree. So first what I'm doing is I'm taking a baby wipe and I am just dipping it in some of the antique wax and I'm rubbing it all over the front of this wood round. I like these wood rounds from Target. They are so thick and well made so I absolutely love them. So next I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I am going to um, spread that out with my little sponge brush and then I'm going to take that saying that says autumn breeze falling leaves off of the window cling and I am going to put that in the center. Now if I was to do this again I will tell you that I probably would have went with the plaster paint by Waverly um, only because I can't really see it that well. I wanted it to be more where you could see it better but all in all, I think it turned out okay, and um, so I just loved it. But I can always redo it if I want to. Then I went over the top of it with some more Mod Podge just to make sure that I seal that window cling and it's not going to pull up. So next, I decided to take some of the leaves and a couple of the um, little acorns that were on this as well. So I took a leaf and I put that on the bottom, and I just put the Mod Podge over that as well. And next, you'll see me take a couple acorns and stick those on here as well. Then after we get this all done, we're gonna decorate the top of it. I really love these wood rounds. I have to keep saying that because of the thickness of them. They're very well made. And also I love the little hanger on the top. It's got like that um, like leather strap on the top and it's really cool. So I took one of these picks. I can't remember where I got these picks it could have been Michael's. It could have been Hobby Lobby. I just don't remember. Sorry, guys, because these are picks from last year. But I love the leaves on these picks, and I've been using all of them this year. Next, I'm just going to take a couple more little, you know, uh, extras that I had on a pick as well. And I'm going to stick those down with some glue. We're just kind of making like a little um, cute floral arrangement on the top with some leaves and then I'm gonna stick this flower right in the center and then I'm gonna use those two orange leaves as well that you see there. I'm gonna stick those down last because I wanted to make sure you could see the orange too but this came out so super cute. But like I said, you know, once the Mod Podge dried, I noticed it was showing a little bit better, the image, so it wasn't that bad. But um, I'm next time, I don't know, I might do um, half and half or something like that but yeah but there it is this this was so cheap and so easy to make you guys I absolutely love it I don't know why my picture came out so dull but sorry about that but yeah today is all about what would you make so we use wood to make some crafts and like I said those are our hosts there will be a playlist down below as well so make sure you check that out and next, DIY number two, I am going to take this wood piece, two by four that I had that my husband cut for me. It was just a spare piece of wood I had left over from a previous project. And I'm just going to take, first I went in with the sandstone by Waverly chalk paint, but I didn't like the color. It wasn't the color I was looking for. So I came back in and I used Beachcomber and it's an apple barrel paint. And I just went over it with it. So it was okay because I got that base coat with some chalk paint and then going with the other paint, I didn't need to use that much. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some of this um, raffia and I'm gonna tie it in a knot, some long pieces, 
tied in a knot and what I'm doing is I'm making a scarecrow and I wanted some hair some of that raffia coming down the side for the scarecrow so I took a couple pieces of raffia that were kind of thick you know not real stringy and I just tied a knot at the top and all you got to do is just that just holding them together and it just makes it easier to glue them down on the side to make the hair of the scarecrow so there you go and I just trimmed them up, you know, make them as long or as short as you want. And then next what I do is I come in with a lot of glue and I am going to hold those in place until they set. And I do the same thing for the other side. Now I'm going to take some of this burlap ribbon that you could get from Hobby Lobby. Also Walmart carries them. I think I got this roll from Walmart. And then what I did is I wrapped it around the top part of my um, wood piece and I'm going to glue that down and I'll make sure it's really tight we're going to make a little hat for this guy for our little scarecrow which is super cute because we're going to tie it at the top and I love doing this with these um making these types of scarecrows so next what I'm going to do I'm just figuring out make sure I have enough on the top next I'm going to cut the um seam on the end of the burlap because I want to pull some of those um, strings out and make it kind of look like, you know, the top of a scarecrow's hat where the kind of looks like straw on the top. So I took some out. You're going to see me. I'm going to start pulling them out. Just pull out as many as you like. I want it to look frayed on the top. And then I took a piece of raffia and I stuck it inside as well. I tied it in a knot, stuck it inside, and now I'm going to take some of my string and I'm going to tie it together at the top really tight. And I tied it in a knot and I just made sure I had that raffia in there and it was tied in nice and good so it doesn't come off. And I just tied it in a knot. And there you go. And there is our little hat for our scarecrow. He's so cute. And then next, I came in with my pencil and I'm going to draw his face. So what I did is I did teardrops for his eyes and then for his nose, I'm gonna make it look like um, a, um, oh my God, what do you call those candies? I can't even think right now. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so tired. I'm getting ready for a craft show and I do lots of craft shows and um, I'm exhausted between doing YouTube and doing um, the craft shows. I've been very, very busy. And I also homeschool my five young children. So there you go. So I used a paint pen to color in my eyes, um, but I made the nose like a triangle. And then I'm going to put a little bit of ribbon. I cut into a square because it kind of looks like flannel. So I put that on my hat just to give it a little bit of decoration and then I'm taking some of the raffia pieces that I had cut off and I'm going to glue those down on top of that piece of ribbon and then I'm going to take a little piece of the um, burlap I cut off a little piece and I made a square with it and I'm going to put that on top of the um, raffia and then that little button I'm going to place in the center. There you go. And next I'm going to do his nose and I'm going to do it with the orange, the yellow, and the white. These are my favorite candies. I know a lot of people don't like them, but I do. <laughs> and I made that, his little nose. I thought it, thought, it would, thought it would be cute to make that. And so I just made a triangle and then I just colored them in the same colors. And then I made little eyebrows. I don't know, I just feel like I needed them, but you don't have to do that. And then I made my little, you know, made it look like stitching his mouth. And then I put two little dots with the end of my um, paintbrush. I just dipped it in some white paint and then I just daubed it. It just brings the eyes to life, I think. And there is our scarecrow. Isn't he cute? I love it. This is so easy to make, you guys. And you gotta let me know which one you like the best in the comments. 
Now DIY number three, this is our last one. I took this wood round from Hobby Lobby. They come in a pack and some antique wax and also those ribbons you saw there and then this um, also window cling. So first I'm gonna come in with my plaster and my antique wax. I'm gonna tape it off and I'm going to do the outside top and bottom with the antique wax. And I'm just applying it with my baby wipe. I love doing it this way, you guys, because it's just one easy swipe and it's done. And it dries really quick too. Instead of like brushing it on and then wiping it off with the um, paper towels, I just find it much easier to do that. So now I'm pulling off my tape and you notice I did get a little in the middle, but that's okay because we're gonna paint over it. And then I made sure I went on my lines again with my tape I make sure I covered them up and now I'm going in with the plaster paint by Waverly, the chalk paint, and I did the center with that color. And then I'm going to take off the tape again. And it did bleed a little bit, but that's okay. It's going to be covered because I am going to come in with some ribbon from the Dollar Tree, which you'll see in a minute, which is my favorite ribbon. So then I'm going to come in with some Hot Podge, of course, and I'm going to do just the center portion with that. And we are going to take the window cling and I'm going to bit the autumn. Autumn is in the air or hello autumn, sorry. And I'm going to stick that in the middle. I love these window clings. They make such perfect decor pieces. I'm telling you, you can make anything with these. And then of course I go over the top with another layer of Mod Podge to make sure that my window cling doesn't come up and it stays stuck down to my wood round. And I think this turned out so pretty and so high end. So this is the ribbon I love from the Dollar Tree. And every time I see it, I pick it up, you guys. So I'm going to do the edges with this. And I just put a thin amount of glue along the edges. And I'm just going to glue down a little bit at a time. And then I just cut off the excess on the edges. And this makes it look even more high end. I just love this ribbon. And I just went all along the edges and I did the same thing on the bottom part as well. And that's that. And then I just trimmed off the edges and I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. And then next I made a little bow and I didn't show me making the bow because I know everybody has their different ways. So I didn't show you the bow making. Um, but let me know if you want me to do a bow tutorial because I can. I make all different kinds of bows because I make tons of wreaths. That's the main thing that I love to make and I have an Etsy shop. I'll have that link down below as well. And then I took one of those um, pumpkins that's the um, um, from the Dollar Tree that has the, oh my goodness, the, I can't, I can't talk you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, that looks like a sweater. There you go. The pumpkin that looks like a sweater. And I put that in the center. And now I'm just taking some of those picks again and some leaves off of them. And also going to take some of these little cute mums that are um, like a cream color. And I'm going to stick those in as well. And I'm just making like this cute little flowery ribbons on top, decorative little thing on top. And I think this turned out so pretty. I absolutely love this one. This one I would have to say is my favorite out of all three. And then I'm just going to stick some of these berries, too, in here. And then I put a hanger on the back of it. And that was it for this DIY. So let me know what you guys think. And let me know if you like me to do, like, a bow tutorial. I make my bows all different ways. And I do use a bow dabra, too, so when I make my bows. Sometimes. <laughs> and sometimes I just do it on my own. But, yeah, it's it takes some practice, but it is... You do get it down if you keep practicing. And there it is, you guys. So what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Don't forget to check everyone out. I will have the playlist down below along with the hosts and the co-hosts' channels. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And always remember, stay crafty. Bye.